Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got my March 2014 favorites. This is my first ever favorites video on my channel. I'm really excited to the point where I might have gone a little overboard with my products. I have been loving all these products that I'm mentioning and I decided, hey, why not just mention all of them? If you guys don't like long videos and you might want to tune out now, but if not, let's just get into it. I'll start with hair. I've been using this shampoo, it's the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Restoring Shampoo. I love it because it cleans my hair, leaves a little moisturized, not gunky, slimy with like product in it, which other shampoos that say that they moisturize or restore, they don't really do that. They just like leave a layer of gunk so you think it's smooth and soft, but it's really just uh, built up. I've been using the um, damage erasing balm with it and I really love this stuff. I am a uh, deep conditioner girl. I have to be because my hair is very dry and like brittle and just frizzy and stuff so I really need to moisturize it um, every month if not twice a month because I need help when it comes to like quenching my hair's thirst because it's thirsty. It's so dry. So I've been using this and I love it. It leaves my hair soft, it leaves my hair moisturized, and again it leaves it, it does all that without leaving like tons of residue behind. So um, aside from using these two products I have been using, which I, which has been a routine of mine for like a year now, I do this um, at home clarifying shampoo type of thing, um, which I use whichever shampoo I'm using, which is this, and I add two ingredients to it and mix it up and wash my hair with it, and it just leaves my hair super clean, and I just love it, and I've noticed a difference of my hair. I tell everyone that I know to do this um, combination or try this clarifying shampoo at home, and um, if you guys want to see or get the recipe or see how I do that, leave a comment down below telling me, and I'll do like a hair care routine showing you um, how I deep cleanse my hair. When it comes to like uh, leave-in conditioner, I like the It's a 10 um, Miracle Leave-In product because it just, again, moisturizes my hair, doesn't leave buildup, and it just has been a life changer as well. And I, I tried the keratin version first and I really, really enjoyed that. That's the one with like the orangey gold top. And I, this is almost done. So when I repurchase it, which I'm going to do, I'm going to get the keratin version and like kind of compare the two and see why I like that one better. I just remember liking the way my hair felt better with that one, but I really do enjoy this one too. Then when it comes to protecting my hair, because that is such an important step whenever you're using hot tools, you have to use a heat protectant. And my favorite has been the Tresemme uh, heat protectant for years now. I, I've i tried it, once I tried it, I never went back. Like. There's times when I don't use heat protectant and then I like give myself like a mental smack and I'm like, what are you doing? You're gonna kill your hair. Um, so I always use this whenever I'm gonna use heat, like heat tools on my hair, which is very often, because if you've seen my first video, which is a how to blow out your hair, you'll see that my natural hair is really, really curly. Well, like curly and frizzy and just unruly. So this is great. If you haven't tried it, you really should try it. it it protects your hair. Like, you will see a difference. The last hair favorite, it's pretty random, but it's amazing. I am a don't wash my hair every day girl. I can't wash it because my hair is dry, and let's face it, I'm lazy. Do I want to blow out my hair every day? No, because I've got a lot, and it's hard, and it's time consuming. So, I'll let my hair go for like two, maybe three days if I'm being real lazy. So, Something that's really helped me to maintain my blowout are these little scrunchies. They hold up my hair and they don't dent. They don't leave a dent. I can have it up with these guys for like hours overnight and when I take my hair down, there's no dent whatsoever. And I love that because that helps to maintain my blowout. So it helps me with like an extra day before when I was using the regular scrunchies. I might have had to wash my hair the second day, but now I could extend it another day, which is three days. Don't judge me. I just don't like washing my hair all the time. It's annoying, time consuming. It like doubles the time, the amount of time that I have to shower because it's a lot of hair. And cleaning is a long job when it comes to this hair. I have to wash it like twice. Let's not get into that. But it's annoying. I don't like to do it, 
but I gotta. So I try to like extend it as long as I can and these guys have helped me. Now on to skincare. I've been washing my face with something called black soap. I believe it's like this African soap that um, has like jojoba and um, cocoa butter and like all these things inside of it. Went to the vitamin store and I saw this. So I decided to try it and thank God I found it because I've got really, really dry skin, flaky dry skin. And this stuff has helped me with that. It moisturizes, it leaves it feeling smooth. And I hold it in this little uh, travel soap uh, container that I found from Harman's. And it's just amazing. I'll wet my face, lather up the bar in my hands, and like, you know, put all, distribute the soap on my face. And then I use my other face favorite, which is my Clarisonic. It doesn't have a brush head right now, but I use my Clarisonic and it helps to clean, cleanse and uh, exfoliate my skin. So it helps break up like the flakes. And my skin has just been like so much better. When it comes to like moisturizing and stuff, I've been using this uh, facial spray from Mario Badescu. I don't know how to pronounce that. Excuse me if I pronounced that wrong. One of the girls at Ulta um, recommended it and I really love it. it. It's my first step after I wash my face and then I put my moisturizer, which is the Embryolise Light Cream Concentrate, which I absolutely love. I've been loving it ever since I saw the Pixie Boo sisters use it. And I ordered it on Amazon and this is amazing. It's really thick and can kind of leave my face a little greasy at times, but I like that because it really moisturizes it. And especially when I'm going to put on like a heavier foundation, it helps to like glide on the foundation and it kind of works like as a primer, moisturizer slash primer for a foundation. So I really love that. Eye cream. I've been using the Derma Doctor Wrinkle Revenge. I love this stuff because it just leaves my, my under eye so moisturized so like when I put on concealer and stuff it doesn't uh, feel cakey at all so I really really love this. When it comes to fragrance, perfume, I have been loving the uh, Victoria's Secret uh, Bombshell Body Mist. My friend got it for me for my birthday in January and I've just been loving it this past month. I used it in January, stopped for a little bit but then March I rediscovered it and I just love it and now for makeup let's get into it for foundation i've been using the covergirl outlast stay fabulous three-in-one foundation i love it um because i can use it to as it like a thin application with my beauty blender or i can use a brush and have like a, a full coverage foundation look with this so it's like versatile and and it doesn't look cakey on my skin which is like a plus because a lot of foundations look cakey on me so it's pretty a pretty good match so i really like that when it comes to concealers i've been using this combination i'll use the maybelline age rewind for my under eye area and like highlighting a little bit like down my nose and at my um Widow's Peak, I think. Widow's Peak? My ear lip. Um, but yeah, I, I love that because it really um, cancels out the under eye uh, circles that I get because I haven't really been sleeping recently and you'll understand why at the end of this video. Eyeshadow. I have still been loving my Naked 3 palette. It's amazing. I love these colors. I've especially been loving uh, Limit and Nooner for the crease. I think those those colors are amazing for like blending out um, all eyeshadows and um, I've just been loving everything in here actually. There's so many different looks that I've created with this uh, Whether it's for like a daytime look for work or going out. I just like really really love it So uh, if you don't have it, you should really try you should really invest and in, in get on it Especially if you have uh, blue or green eyes green or hazel eyes. This is amazing I've been using the Maybelline line stiletto uh, this month it the brush is like a felt tip brush and I just like it. It it's easy to do a line with, and uh, it leaves like a a thick, opaque line, and it doesn't smudge easily. So I really, really, really like that. I've been using Maybelline The Falsies Black Drama because of Tanya Burr. I love her, and she recommended this in a video, God knows how long ago, and I tried it, 
and I am obsessed with it. I've tried high-end mascaras, but I'm still true to Maybelline The Falsies. It's just amazing. It helps to curve the lashes. It doesn't flake on my on my lashes. It lasts forever until you take it off. So I really like that. And it like gives a little bit of volume. So all around, great mascara. I have been using the uh, Anastasia, Anastasia, however you say it, uh, brow wiz and medium ash i love this stuff it like the pencil's thin enough where um it the line that you like put on your on your eyelashes looks natural and the color is a good match and then the added bonus is that little spoolie that they give you at the end so you can like brush through your eyebrows and make it look even more natural i have been loving my sleek contour kit because I have been needing to do my makeup outside of my house because I end up running out of time when it comes to applying my makeup because you'll see why later in this video. Uh, so I've been loving this because it's travel friendly. It's got the bronzer and the highlighter and it, the bronzer's not orangey so it's good for contour and I kind of brush it over lightly um, if I just want to like bronze my skin up and the highlighter is really beautiful too so um, I love that because I've been bringing my makeup outside of the house to do it so this is a this has been a huge time favorite this month and then when it comes to blushes I've been using two I've been using Rocketeur and Coralista both from Benefit. Uh, Rockatory, I've been using if I want a more like muted blush look um, because it's like a rosy hued um, blush. So I've been using it uh, together with the Naked 3 because they kind of like uh, complement each other. And then I've been using Coralista because it's a beautiful, beautiful coral color that reminds me of summer and spring and I need like a pick-me-up because here in New Jersey our winter has been long and dreadful and it's depressing because you just want the warm weather. So this has been helpful when I've had those like bummer days when it's freezing and I just need a reminder that spring and summer are around the corner. So beautiful color. I've been loving that. I've been using uh, CoverGirl uh, from the Queen Collection, Penelope Pink. It's a beautiful uh, nude pinky color that like will suit anyone and it's just like my everyday go-to color. And then when I'm trying to be like adventurous or have a bold lip, I've been using Max Rebel because it's just beautiful it suits every skin tone it just looks amazing on everyone but it changes on everyone so that's what I love about it is that anyone can use it and it looks it's like a chameleon it looks different and like changes its, its color based on who's wearing it so I just I just like love that it's my favorite matte lipstick and like if not my favorite lipstick of all time and then a random random favorite one of two, is this mitt that I found at Bed Bath & Beyond. I have a problem when it comes to cleaning my brushes. I hate it. It's my least favorite thing. I'm excited after I get it all done, but in, while I'm doing the process, I pretty much hate it because it's time consuming and tedious and I just want to get it over with. So I found this and has it, it's made my life so much easier because it has these like ridges and it's kind of like a dupe for the uh, Sigma spa brush cleanser mitt thing that I wouldn't pay $30 for but I found this for 10 and it was 8 because I had a 20% coupon that I used with it so an $8 dupe yes I'm gonna use it so um it just helps it it cuts the time in half for cleaning because of the ridges it like really like uh, scrubs it and um, I just love it so if you want to see a video on how I clean my brushes comment down below and I will give you that if you request it I shall do it and then my favorite show of this month has got to be a toss-up between House of Cards because I binge saw watched I think that's it. you would say I binge watched um, the first season and the second season um, I started I started it too I haven't finished it but I just love it it's just like such a crazy show and you just no one's safe and it, you expect something to happen but then something else completely different happens and I just like loved it and another favorite has got to be Nashville I love Nashville I wish that I was a country singer because 
I just love the music and <laughs> I love the storyline and it's just I just love that show uh, I wanted to go to uh, Nashville a few months ago but the, our plans kind of just like fell through but I will make it there and I want to go to the Bluebird and see someone perform I wish I could see Scarlett oh and if you couldn't tell I've got a little guest here this is my last March favorite the reason I mentioned how I have to like travel with my makeup and do my makeup elsewhere because I don't have time in the morning and this is the reason why this is my new little guy say hi Kenji hi everyone this is Kenji he's my new baby he's getting washed out by the Sun because he's white but say hi Kenji hi hi everyone say hi this is my new baby baby I love him so much he's so beautiful he's a little um Bichon Frise puppy we got him uh, Valentine's Day weekend he's just so cute and lovable and um, he's been great ever since we got him we've had him now for um, I would what is it like almost two months and we've had like no problems with him I've been loving him and te teaching him tricks and stuff so I've been occupied with this guy and in the mornings I've got no time to do my makeup or hair because I've got to feed this guy play with him and make sure he goes pee and poo you might be seeing him in videos more often now or hearing some barking going on in the background because he is obsessed with his mommy uh, his daddy too but he sees me and he just goes berserk so he even follows me in the shower and he hates the shower so shows how much he like he's a mama's boy and he's got like severe separation anxiety so yeah say hi to everyone Kenji so guys that's the end of my video I hope you guys liked it I hope you enjoyed seeing all my favorites and my new baby uh, if you liked it please give us a thumbs up a pause up <laughs> but thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel welcome and um, I look forward to seeing you guys later see you in my next video bye guys say bye Kenji bye excuse me I have an itch split ends aren't as much and I just excuse me got a little guy down there Kenji what are you doing Excuse me. Okay, is uh, yeah, the sun's kind of yeah. Oh no, Genji. No, <laughs> not my rebel. Okay, excuse me. I'm fighting with someone right now who's trying to steal all my products.